All right, time to get the good thing going. Yo, what's up, dorks? Welcome back to my channel, dude. Uh, so sorry I've been out for so long. You know, I uh, lost my will to live again. And, you know, it's kind of hard to survive right now with this Rona thing happening. Uh, I haven't left the house in five months. Anyways, so today I just wanted to show you guys something that has been introduced in the past, but hasn't really kind of. So if y'all go back a little bit and remember the episode where I ate those Sour Patch food stuff, well, those mad lads are back at it again, let me tell you. Hooey! So, uh, these guys are wild, dude. I don't know what, I don't know why they keep going on. They have no will to live. They have no encouragement. Who would want to eat something sweet that's sour? That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, it's so pleasing to the eye and I want to kill myself. It's just so beautiful, you know? So, you have the blue going in and then you got the green going in. But it's also got some yellow going in. And you know what yellow does? Yellow kind of makes you hungry. That yellow and red combo, that McDonald's combo, that Wombo combo to make you hungry, bro. <sighs> kind of hungry, though. So looking at it, you're like, hey, it's kind of enticing, you know? It's got the blue, it's got the yellow. I'm hungry. Uh, looking kind of weird, but, you know, I'm, I am I vibe with that. Uh, but the thing is, the problem with this box, however, is psycho psychologically, your brain's like, hey, Green? Yuck, dude. That's throw up, dude. Yellow? Throw up. But it looks so nice to the eye. I don't know. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go on. So a little context before I actually eat this. Uh, oh, you like my sweater? Oh, thank you, dude. It's a little telly fresh. Vape Nation, bro. Vape, vape Nation, bro. Anyways, so uh, a little bit of context of how I acquired this thing. So I was walking through Target, as usual. And I found, uh, you know, I went to the chip aisle. I went to the chips aisle. I went to the Ch Chips Ahoy aisle, you know, the cookie aisle. And I saw a bunch of Oreos, you know. I was kind of craving some Oreos. I said, hey, let me get them thick ones, you know. Uh, nothing, I got nothing wrong nothing wrong against having the thin ones. But, you know, I like them kind of thick, you know what I'm saying. But uh, I was just walking by and then suddenly this autistic color was looking right at me, dude. This thing was looking right at me. And I said, hey. I'm autistic as well. I like things that scream out like me. And it's putrid like me. So I did the most sensible thing a man could do. And I stuck them in my mouth. So well, not yet. But I will. For you guys. Because I love you guys. And I keep suffering. God help me. So let's uh, jump right into these bad boys. Whew. All right. Get ready for this cool one. You ready? Oh, sweet Jesus. That smells horrible. Ah, oh, it smells bad, dude. Okay, it's not that bad. It's kind of like when you smell... I'm not trying to say tangerines, but it's kind of like tangerines. That's what it smells like. And it caught me off guard as soon as I opened it. It's like, you're not expecting tangerine smelling sour kind of like smell from a cookie box, you know? You're expecting like chocolate chip or dough. That's what you're kind of expecting. Okay, I think I've kind of mellowed out to this smell now. Okay, but but whew, once I opened it up, the whiff just whew, came at me like the Vietnam trenches. I don't know what that meant. So if you look into the cookie, you can see it's just a regular old Chips Ahoy, but with a little bit of red, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. Really disgusting looking colors for food. I don't know what they're thinking. You know, they're like, hey, we did good with other food. We even tried a cereal. I think it did all right. Uh, how would a cookie taste like? So, uh, they're back at it again, these mad lads. No means no. Can't they just stop, please? All right, here goes nothing, guys. I love you guys. If I die, my address is one, two, three, help. Come find the body, please. No one's going to care. Ah. Ah. It's not that bad. But not that good either. <clears throat> I'm trying to get a taste because I can't get a single taste that I can tell you guys, hey, this is how it tastes like. They smell as they taste. Not only is it tasteless, it, it's trying to mimic a flavor that doesn't exist for it. So it doesn't taste like Sour Patch, but 
if you really try to think about it hard enough, it does, but really it doesn't. It's it's just kind of a weird flavor of just yuck and yuck put together, and it's just not good. So that comes to the rating. But what I rate this thing. For the autistic screeching colors of the blue and the yellow and the green, I'm not going to lie, it does look pretty nice, but the presentation is okay. Well, no, the outside presentation is pretty good, but the cookies inside is not that great. Psychologically, you think, hey, green, red, purple, blue, whatever on a food, that's something different, that's weird, and psychologically, you're like, no, no, thank you, bro. Uh, I'm good with that shit. Uh, it's tasteless, dude. But, I don't know, bro. It's like army food. It's tasteless. It's bland. It's boring. It makes you want to kill yourself. But even then, army food still gets you by. This this just gets you fatter. I don't know, bro. So, I give it a 1 out of 5, dude. It's kind of... It's kind of... Kind of... It doesn't even meet my expectations of tasting like Sour Patch. Once it stops flashing, that's, that's when I know it's done. All right, and action. So a little context of how I got this. So I was walking through. Just stop. Hold on, let me check. It stopped. 